All right, let's take some time to chat about Amanda Bynes, a Hollywood actress who was at the top of her game at some point, but things then took a rather disturbing turn. From 2012 onwards, she found herself in a stormy sea of legal trouble and some other personal challenges. It all kickstarted in March 2012, when Amanda had a little issue with the law. She's been caught driving under the influence, DUI, in West Hollywood. And that was just the beginning. Then in September the same year, two separate hit-and-run charges were attributed to her by the authorities, which were, by the way, later picked up by her attorney, Richard Hutton. In total, Amanda had to deal with about five criminal charges that year, including a DUI and two alleged hit-and-runs. Before the end of the year, she announced on Twitter that she'd gone into retirement. As you might expect, all this picked up a lot of public attention. People were shocked, fans were left reeling, and it hit the headlines across the nation. Experts started weighing in too, like therapists and psychiatrists, and a general consensus was that Amanda needed help, and she needed its stat. In 2013, more stuff went down. Amanda was accused of reckless endangerment and marijuana possession. She was said to be throwing drug paraphernalia from an apartment window. Then, there was a chaotic incident that took place involving a small fire in the driveway of a residential house in Thousand Oaks, where she was found by the police. She was placed under a temporary 72-hour mental health evaluation hold on that one, a 5,150 if you wanted the specific code. The tangible nod to a Metallica album wasn't exactly a fun one. Her lawyer sprung into action to uphold her rights, and in August 2013, her parents, Lynn and Rick Bynes, pitched in by filing for conservatorship over Amanda's medical care and finances. In 2014, as a result of her misdemeanors, the former Nickelodeon star was committed to a mental health facility for further treatment. She was there for nearly six months. Fast forward to 2018, Amanda's lawyer stated that she was mentally and physically fit enough to care for herself and proceeded to terminate the conservatorship over her person. However, the conservatorship over her estate remained active. In this time, Amanda even stepped up her game by attending fashion school. However, the struggle was real and continued. Come 2019, she faced another bump on her road to recovery, a relapse following stress from being in the public eye. Seeing Amanda go through all this can be tough, especially when you remember her as she was, an amazing actress with a promising career. It's pretty hard to come to a clear-cut conclusion about why things panned out the way they did. She had admitted to drug use, and experts say it points in the direction of mental health issues. Plus, the pressure of being in the limelight can sometimes be quite overwhelming. What we can learn from Amanda's journey is that everyone has his or her struggles, even the glitterati. It's also essential that, just as in Amanda's case, measures are taken to help individuals go through these struggles. Mental health is critical, folks. It's as simple as that. Lastly, it's evident that Amanda is still trying to get her life on track. We do wish her well and hope the girl we once knew can make her way back onto the screen and into our hearts. I mean, who doesn't love a good comeback, right? Let's just keep those fingers crossed.